Have a good day! Next you take an entire package of chocolate chip cookie dough and blanket this fragile lard baby to provide it with a hard candy shell for the deep frying. L.A. Beast here, and all that I plan on doing right here, right now, is listening to the man, the myth, the legend himself, Michael Scott, as I travel back in the past and try to achieve what I once aspired to achieve 10 years ago by trying to create right here, right now, a fragile lard baby of, of buttery goodness. And all that a fragile lard baby is, is a pound of butter wrapped in bacon, wrapped in cookie dough, and then deep fried. And this was actually inspired circa 2012 from the Iowa State Fair, a viral post of how they like took a stick of butter, deep fried it, uh, and they like gave out deep fried butter sticks. Now back in 2012, as I worked as a beer salesman, I was 28 years of age and I still lived at home with my parents right before my dad actually kicked me out of the house because I spewed in his car. Uh, what I would do, I would actually get home from work right around 10 p.m. Uh, as I got done at the gym. And then I would film uh, such YouTube videos when I consumed three liters of olive oil. Uh, and also when I self butter pranked myself and nearly sliced my toe off, I would do these things as my parents were sleeping upstairs. And what I tried to do back in 2012, inspired by the Iowa State Fair, was replicate a deep fried butter stick. And on this specific day, this specific night, I was not expecting the outcome that forecame, and pretty much that outcome was uh, what I did. I purchased a fry daddy from the Walmart that was right near the gym, and then I tried to deep fry that, that fragile special lard baby, uh, and what I did that was wrong, I put way too much oil. So as I dumped this giant ball into this small fry daddy, more like fry baby, pretty much all this oil went all over my mother's kitchen. Now at this point, I started freaking out when I realized that there was burning hot oil leaking all over a live electrical socket. And then I waited patiently for everything to stop. And as you can see by the aftermath, uh, I was pretty much 100% royally screwed. Of course, she wasn't too pleased. Hey, you know what? She didn't even, I don't think she's ever even seen the video. And all that I plan on doing right here, right now, is wherever I went wrong, fixing those wrongs and making the situation right, as I have created a, gin a, a ginormous fragile lard baby that I hope that we can successfully deep fry right here, right now, today, here in the year 2022. And as I have no idea what the hell I just said, I do know this. Let's, let's do this. All right, quite possibly it may rain right here right now. It's pretty humid outside. We have our pot, our oil. I have a candy thermometer and I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure when it comes to deep frying things, I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. So uh, I was actually playing this by ear and the reason why I was doing this outside on a hot plate was to, to make sure if things went wrong, it, they didn't go wrong within the house. My giant fragile lard baby dough baby. The following simple YouTube instructions, I just made a batter that seems already a little bit thicker than the pancake batter I used back in 2010. I have my 
the hot plate here. I have my thing, and what I'm going to do right here, right now, I'm going to plug it in. Uh, and once this gets plugged in here and I turn the oil on with the hot plate, it's it's game on. Uh, we, we are going to do this thing, all right, plugged in. So let's get the electricity out of the way. We're going to use this. Uh, and the, the main temperature that we have to get the oil to is 365, 370 degrees. Okay. Now, when it comes to deep frying, I have no idea what the hunt I'm doing. I did, I did not expect to quite possibly have to use the entire 64 ounces of olive oil, but I think that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, and then hopefully we can... Okay. That's in there. No, that is... Okay, we gotta, we gotta just make sure we do this safely and responsibly. And from there, uh, we need to get to 365, and once that happens, I'm dropping this thing in. Uh, and then I guess we'll finish up inside where there's more light. The light's going, the sun's going down. It already did. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a pretty much rock solid. Uh, let me try and get the GoPro on this. A rock solid, ginormous lard baby, which uh, butter, Wrapped in bacon, wrapped in two times cookie dough, twice freezed. So let's see. So, boom. That is what a ginormous lard baby uh, looks like. The lighting is a little bit bad. Uh, I've, ne I've never deep fried anything on a hot plate. Uh, let's see. Let's see if our little spoon is gonna work. Okay. I'm going to get sting over the table. To, to recap or requote the video that I did before, what the F could possibly go wrong now? Everything has gone perfectly and according to plan up until this point, so what the motherfuck can possibly go wrong now? Please God. Okay. Okay, we're smoking, we're smoking, we're smoking on a hot plate. At this point, I had straight up oil smoke going up my face. And you know what, quite honestly, okay, we stood the... Uh, 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 right, it's not, it's, the sun went down. Oh my God, okay, it's, it's, try, it's trying to go. Okay, here we go, watch this. I don't even know. Okay. Whatever I just did almost kind of defried it. Okay, so far, so far this seems decently promising. Okay, I probably have to turn this off. Oh God. So, let's, let's, okay, let's turn this off. Uh, at zero, we're at zero. At zero, let, let's get this out of here. Oh my God. Okay. All right. You know what the positive thing here is, is that we- There is no positive, positive, positive. Positivity ship. So without further ado, I am the LA Beast, and after legally getting high here in the state of New Jersey after making quite possibly the world's largest lard baby, I am the LA Beast and all I plan on doing right here right now is quite possibly totally redeeming myself by again 10 years later taking on the heart attack on a stick. Uh, Boom, not, you know, a knock on wood. So, uh, anyway, quite honestly, I didn't really think I would have a stick until uh, whatever the scooper thing is, it's like locked on there uh, pretty solid. So, honest thoughts and opinions right here. I'm amazed that the oil did not 
explode out of the giant stock pot that cost me $57 this morning. Uh, I'm amazed that as I'm actually touching this, there's actually crispiness. Um, I'm not quite, uh, if you like make pork chops or something, they have like onion. It's like an oniony things you can buy at the grocery store. It was the double layer of chocolate chip cookie dough with the two time or the two day freeze time, uh, which I feel is what kept it intact this time. Which means if I, you know, what, mm -hmm. okay, my fork is not big enough, but you know what? We're we're making it through. Wow. And, and you know what? Quite honestly, uh, I'll, I'll definitely give you my on okay. I'll give you my honest thoughts here. <laughs> Uh, in one second. Okay, there, there we go. Uh, what I definitely just created was and or is. This is actually, well, this is actually pretty cool. Um, I guess pretty much in a nutshell, I created. Uh, if, if you ever had a fudgy the whale cake at Carvel, I created a deep fried butter ice cake with uh, some slight, slight deep frying on there, so you know what, let's just do it. Let's just dive in, this is the LA Beast. Have a good day. Oh my gosh, okay. Have a good day. Okay, hmm. I just ate raw bacon. Okay. Uh, there's a crunchiness. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I once tried to, and I feel like I officially did achieve the butter eating world record by consuming. Now, uh, eight salt and six of butter in three minutes and 16 seconds. Uh, but what this is, this is actually raw cookie dough, raw bacon, uh, and like five pounds of lard uh, with a deep fry. Uh, it's, it smells like oil. And to shade, to shade to me, because uh, legally being high here in the city of New Jersey, although uh, my brain is saying this is insane. My inner Kevin is saying this is actually pretty awesome. Pretty Good day, LA Beast here, and it's actually the next morning, and after I finished filming last night, uh, I just couldn't, it didn't sit well with me that I 100% totally failed, so I took a smaller sample of the giant fragile lard baby, and then I, I tried to read deep fry it today, not to where, you know what, I did that inside the house, and the whole house smells like a deep fryer. So with that said, uh, we got some close-up shots, let's just see, uh, it, what this thing looks like. I, I definitely, oh. Okay, well, you know what? I ruined uh, whatever this uh, spork is. I ruined it, and that's fine. We're just gonna cut it right down the middle. Man. Oh. Okay, it's, a, it's green. Whatever the, the butter did to it, it turned the inside out. Okay. Uh, okay, well, you know what?
Okay, well that, you know what, I guess that's that. It's, it's pretty much exactly how it was before. So uh, when it comes to making a deep fried butter on a stick, maybe next time I'll just, I don't know. Because so, so far, 10 years apart, I haven't done it right yet. Uh, okay, well you know what? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it, it, it looks like a turducken uh, that just didn't cook at all. I think I just, I, I had way too much fortress surrounding that lard baby, so, yeah. Hello, Beast. Thank you for watching. And I'm just here to say that I'm excited to be uh, part of a documentary about Letchworth Village, a true haunted American asylum. And this documentary is going to be featured on Scare Network TV, but also on July 16th, 2022 at 7 p.m. in Bridgeport, Connecticut at the Bijou Theater. There's actually going to be a live screening uh, of this documentary. So uh, if you want to get tickets, I'll definitely be there. Uh, the, the link is in the description below, Eventbrite, but you know what, uh, it goes to support my good friend, paranormal investigating friend, Sean D. Austin, Phil Chrome Celica 00, uh, and the entire Scare Network TV crew, so, um, please, if you can, support, and hopefully I'll see you there. Check out this trailer, uh, which is pretty ridiculous. Hello Beast, have a good day! This place is supercharged with paranormal energy. Coming in here today, I, like, I felt a sense of like loneliness and sadness. You just get a general overall feeling of, wow, this place is definitely some crazy things have happened here. You can hear help. You really don't know what you're dealing with, why it's there, and if it's tied to the history or if it's something even more malevolent in nature. If there's paranormal activity there, there would be good reason for it. You always felt like you were being watched. <laughs> 